Hey guys, welcome back to MLB 21, the show Red Sox franchise mode. And today we will have a new uh, new series against Atlanta Braves, but this time we are at home. And of course, there are a lot to talk about the Atlanta Braves. And yes, I recorded. I'm recording this literally right after finishing the Philly series. And finally, I can you know make a deep dive into uh, the Atlanta team. So it turns out, I mean, a lot of people were kind of like judging them because they have the lowest wins uh, off any of the playoffs teams. But hey, you cannot judge, you cannot judge them based on the wins. It's based on how far they went. And this year, they are the World Series champion. And of course, I'm very happy for them because who wants Houston? Astros to win. Nobody literally wants them to win. And of course, I I mean, Red Sox got eliminated and the only team that I could root for in the World Series has to be the Atlanta Braves. And right there, they did it. And there's one player I want to talk about, of course, Freddie Freeman after 12 years into uh after 12 years in the big leagues, finally earning his his first first ring for him ever. And you know what? That's like a I feel like that's like a complete story, you know. You know, there are definitely players where, oh, like hitting after hitting their prime, uh, still couldn't really like stuck with one team, couldn't really find like um, couldn't really get a ring. And this year, he did it. And I really hope that in the future he's gonna get a few more rings before he retired. And there's one player I do want to do talk about, except Freddie Freeman, which is uh, Jorge Soler. This guy was monstrous. I'm telling you. The game six three run home run that he hit was, guys, after he hit that ball off the bat, I was watching it live and instantly I knew that ball is going to be gone. And of course, turns out he is the MVP of the series, and I'm really happy for him. Uh, got traded. He got he, he was from um, he was from Kansas City and got traded at the uh, deadline uh, one of the deadline deals back in July thirty first. And you know what? He, he deserved that. He definitely deserved that. And of course, Acuna Jr. was out for like a whole season because of his a- torn ACL. And everybody was thinking about, oh, you know what? Atlanta's not going to make it because uh, they're missing out Acuna Jr. But turns out everybody just play, everybody just play nice baseball in general. And again, Charlie, uh, is it Char- Char- Charlie Morton? second second ring for him and of course he was phenomenal uh very inspirational as well and uh, look looking back at the screen right here we have marcus wilson i don't know what happened there he wasn't even part of uh he wasn't even part of the play he was going to third and then try to hit first which is completely stupid there's no way why 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 the hell would you do that and he uh apparently was in significant pain so i don't know how uh, how long he's going to be out but definitely he is going to be out but in terms of the extent of his injury, nobody knows at this point. But Danny Santana will be replacing him in uh, in this game. And fast forward a little bit after talking about Atlanta Braves individual players, Atlanta is taking a three nothing or three one uh, three one lead already. And it seems like our offensive our offensive work has been quite disappointing. Uh, sh- strikeout looking by Christian Fasquez, but early on, uh, JD Martinez hit a no doubt home run to right field, and on the other side, Freddie Freeman hits a no doubt home run to right field, and it is going to be um um four one already. Very disappointing, and get with Richard so far hasn't been quite quite doing a good job, and Drew Smiley is pitching for the um for the Braves but I'm not quite sure if I saw my, uh uh Smiley in the uh, the World Series roster. I wasn't really keeping track of the players but only certain players. I didn't watch a whole I I didn't watch every every game but only watched like a few here and there and Sander Bogarts, you know what? Finally a leader turns up in today's game and uh, Sander Bogarts got himself a long RBI single and Jeter Downs going to hit a line drive to center field. And uh, Sander Bogart is going to score just in time. You cannot estimate the arms of Acuna Jr. And we closest the gap to 4-3, still trailing by one uh, one run. Matt Andrees uh, striking out Acuna Jr. to end the seventh, bottom of the seventh right here. JD Martin is going to hit that one, a bullet, but then right in front of the wall. Everybody was playing deep in their outfield, so um, not... 
I'm not expecting, uh, not you know, not expecting getting a base up off that distance. And Matt Andrew striking out back to back players to end the top of the eighth. Moving on to the bottom of the eighth, right here we have to turn up. And uh, unfortunately, Sandy Bogart's got strikeout with a slider at the bottom of the zone. He was definitely mad because it could have been a ball if he didn't swung at that. And Christian Fasca swung swung at the slider, um, drop third, drop third strike, but turns out good recovery by the pitcher, no, by the by the catcher. And uh, oh, unfortunately, right here, Darwinson Hernandez gave up a sack fly, RBI sack fly for Freddie Freeman. And uh, the Braves extended the lead to 5-1, adding to that insurance run. And Jeter Downs right here is uh, got juked by Will Smith slider to, uh, to, to have the first out. And Kike Hernandez, ooh, a uh, ground ball to third base for the fourth out. And uh, Atlanta Braves showing they uh, you know what they were in the video games, apparently. And they take game one of this two-game series, so... Uh, the only well, we can't. We definitely can't win the series, but possibly Atlanta can, and uh, and yeah, very disappointing for us indeed. And Atlanta finished this game off five three. Uh, they have eleven hits. We have six. Freddie Freeman is the play of the game with a sack fly and also a um, and also a solo home run to make the difference. Drew Smiley will be taking the win. And Gary Riches will take the loss. Uh, couldn't really get through five innings. Instead, uh, allowing seven hits, one walk, and four runs being scored. And he only has three strikes out. And Will Smith collecting his 11th save of the season. So come back to the next game. We'll find out whether if we uh, just <laughs> just find out what ha what happened in the next game of the final game of the series. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in a bit.